Hey everyone, it's um, Pride again, bringing you another replay. This one is against EG Strife Co. versus SCD Pride. Um, for Cheese 101, rule to for today is will be the three port banshee. So I'm going to teach you guys the three port banshee. You don't know what the three port banshee is? Well, essentially, you build three ports, you build a bunch of banshee, you attack, and you win. It's a good cheese. Use it a lot on the ladder, and this is against Strife Co. So he's a um, top tier Zerg. I think he is anyway. Anyway, he's in EG, so I assume that he's good. But but that's totally irrelevant. Anyway, continuing on. Everything is pretty much normal, so I'm going to breeze through the main part so you don't get bored with me talking throughout the whole time. Alright, so basically, 10 supply, pretty much normal. 10 supply, 12 racks, and 13 refinery. That That's pretty much the outline, the fundamental of every single basics of every build. You just have to get 12, 10, 12, 15. Anyway, go ahead. Racks at 12. Refinery at 13. This is when I usually like to scout. A lot of people like to scout once they start their barracks. Some people even scout even earlier than that, but I don't see no point scouting a Zerg too early because it's just irrelevant. Unless if they're 6-pulling you, but hopefully he doesn't 6-pull me. Well, it doesn't look like he's 6-pulling me, but anyway, disregard. Um, Alright, so once you uh, scout, pretty much I'm just scouting to see what he has so it looks like he has a hatch going up so it looks like a 15 hatch early gas for speed or maybe possibility roaches so whenever they get gas you can assume two things they can either go for roaches or go for speed but I assume that he goes for speed because that's pretty much normal for almost every zerg anyway continuing on you're gonna produce what I like to do is I um I wall off before I build my first marine why so you can deny scouting because you want to get that early second gas so your banshees aren't delayed more than it already is so you're gonna build supply first supply at 15 and then build your 16th marine and 17th marine and this is when you stop building marines for a little bit drop down a factory when you have the minerals after the factory goes down at 100 gas you build your factory at 75 minerals you're gonna build your second gas and then from here you're just going to pump constant marines while not being supply blocked. So the key points of building supplies are 15 supply, 21 supply, and roughly around 27, 28 is when you build your third supply. And then you're good for a little bit and then after that it's just pretty much don't get supply blocked. But you're going to build constant marines. I uh, made a slight variation to this build. Usually I reactor my barracks but this time I tend I reactor my hellions so I can get one extra hellion because I realized like the new um the new patch that's coming out the auto repair SCVs that's inside the medevac won't be healing each other anymore and it won't be healing anything else so anyway just going on you're gonna pump out hellions and like I said this is roughly when you build your supply so I build my supply at 28 roughly constant produce of marines and constant produce of hellions right after your factory's finished you're gonna drop down a starport when your starport is finished, you're going to build the first medevac, okay? So essentially, you're going to push out with 78 marines, 4 hellions, and a dropship. Alright? So here I go, producing more stuff. And at the same time, this is when you constantly produce SCVs. Don't stop building SCVs. It's just something that you shouldn't stop. Anyway, after... Sorry. After you build your first medevac, once the medevac pops out, you want to tech lab the starport and drop down two more additional starport a good thing to do is try to hide them like don't build them right here that you try the point of the cheese is to deny to not let them know that you're cheesing because if they know that you're cheesing then they can pretty much stop it pretty easily so pretty much once the tech lab finish you're going to fill your first banshee so essentially this build you're going to do a, har a hellion harass a elevator drop into four port or three port banshee when you have a total of four banshees okay and what I did was I swapped because there's no point of building any more hellions I'm just going to produce marines and banshees so as soon as these finish you want to tech lab as soon as you can okay while you're doing your little elevator drop so here's my elevator drop and as you can tell it didn't work out too well well he has a lot of zergling that is a lot of zergling and look I didn't have the best he had the best around with me killed everything and I essentially did no damage and from the looks of it I'm be I made him build a lot of zerglings holy crap look I'm ahead of him by workers so if I put that command center I would have been okay but anyway here I am producing my banshees clickety click 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 and while just constant produce of units so if the banshee fails you're gonna do another all-in which shouldn't fail but if that's the case there's always option two and option three 
for so forth and so on all right from here you lay down what I did was I saw a lot of zerglings so I was a I was preemptively preparing myself for a bailing bus so what I did was lay down more raxes to have a complete wall off while I'll continue from here while I harass with my four banshees and what I did was I put my rally point on the on the banshees to build more banshees for reinforcements and here I go with my four banshees so a good thing is he didn't overlord scout that's bad on his part so he doesn't he did not know the four banshee was coming until it was like pretty much 10 seconds before he knew so here he's trying to produce spores and it was just too late and he only had three queens it takes eight shots to kill a queen so two volleys of four banshees will kill a queen anyway so from here you just pretty much snipe 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 and another thing to note it takes a total of four spores to completely wall off at to completely defend a hatch so you have to have four spores on every single side so as you can tell I'm still I'm just pimping it away at this hatch it's just dying slowly die 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 and even with the spore in that location I just move it up a little more which I did there you go well continue from here on you want to continue production I got supply blocked so this is what you shouldn't do anyway this is where I put down an armory when I have enough gas it really doesn't really matter when you want to build your armory but just build it sometime soon because you want to have a door or two when you push out with your necks all in but it looks like he's pretty much dead from here I took out the, I took out the hatch with six here's seventh and I'm building my eighth banshee so from here I just harass what I can I continue to try to take out the hatch again he didn't cancel that was bad on him and he I don't get why he built another hatch right here that was kind of pointless so here I go on this side taking out this hatch and with the amount of banshees I got I could simply just attack these spores which I did in the end when I had see so I thought he was banning butts to me see this is like the perfect wall there's no way you can get through that anyway you just try to get around okay let me where's where is it where is it help me here guys see look look at how his spores are structured I could j that's why I went walked around all the way here and I attacked his lair from here forcing his spores to lift so look he lift this spore I attack the spire he lift this spore I attack this spore I attack that spore and he's pretty much dead he has no anti-air all he has is spore where I can easily just walk around in circles and just start sniping stuff down make forcing him to lift the spore because spore takes six seconds before they get burled down and they start shooting crap four banshees should take out a spore before even the spore finished burrowing but anyway he he's pretty much dead I don't see how he can win from this and look at here you see all these marines and my thors and all this crap that I'm building this is my second all-in if this the other all-in fails you just pull everything you got 1a and you should usually win but anyway He's uh, forced to GG. He just left the game. But anyway, this that's strife call for you. But that's that, that's totally irrelevant. So just a recap of how to do the build. 10 supply. 12 racks. 13 refinery. At build 2 marines. Well, actually, you wall off. You build orbital at 15. You wall off. And then you build your first marine. You build your second marine. Once your second marine's done is when you should have enough gas. Put down your factory. When your second when your factory is finished, or when you start your factory, you're gonna take your second gas when you have 75 minerals. From there, constant producer marines. Supplies supply to note is at 15, 21, and 27. If you do not build it in that order, you will be supply blocked. Okay? You can build supply at 22. The reason why most people people build at 21 because it's more comfortable but I build at 20 usually the reason why I build at 20 because I'm floating mineral so I might as well build a supply I mean there's nothing else to do and I'm floating minerals and I just hate seeing like massive amounts of minerals early in the game as you can if you look at right now my minerals always low there's a reason for that okay once your factory finished you want to make your reactor build a force four hellions and you're gonna push out with seven marines seven to eight marines roughly if you're constant on producing on marines, you should have around 7 to 8 marines once your meta vault pops out. So you're going to attack with 7 marines, 4, four hellions, and a medevac. And you're going to push out, do an elevator drop, load in 
the Hellions first. Why the Hellions? Because Hellions counts as four units. Marines counts as 78, so it takes slightly longer. And then after you load your Hellions, you're going to load the Marines. And then you're going to try to get the least surface area you don't get us around. Which I didn't do too well because he built so many Zerglings. Another thing to know, once once the Medivac is finished, you want to Tech Lab it. As soon as you can, drop down two more Starports. As soon as that Tech Lab finished on that Starport, you want to build your first Banshee. If you time it out right, you should have your second, third, and fourth Banshee out at the same time. Pushing out roughly around... 850 and when you hit their base no longer than nine minutes that's usually how it is because for a fast lair most people do a late lair but they start their um they start their spire roughly around 910 920 so there's that little gap where you can snipe that lair because once that lair comes up everything becomes so much more difficult but if you're able to take down a hatch and their lair is just barely finished or i mean the spire just barely finished then you're good just golden you're set and remember this this little elevator drop had he not built that many zergling he would have died right there had he drawn hard he would have completely there has been cases where this this little drop of mine killed around 12 to 13 drones and from there once the banshee came he literally had nothing he had nothing because he was all he was doing was producing drones he didn't have any anti-air he didn't have that many queens so usually if you do the cheese correctly they should only have three to four queens I mean, if they see three ports, they're going to put down like six, seven queens and lay down a good billion, gajillion spores. But that's, that's, that's the build, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, shout out to Clan Water again. So remember, it's a, it's a new community for pretty much bronze up until to any level. Uh, join the community, uh, you know, just read around. And it's, it's usually just for um, helping all the lower leagues how to get to rise to the top. Uh, the website's clanwater.com. That's clanwater.com. And also, we have, um, they also have a channel, Channel Water. Just go join there for some obs, chit chat, talk, whatever the case may be. Do it at your leisure, I guess. Anyway, this is Pride. I'm out.